morning once again. Morning to everyone or good afternoon to everyone who is with us today, who had the chance to join our session. Uh, this is our first uh, conference opening talk. Today we're going to have an option two uh, conducted a bit, a bit uh, later today to make sure that everyone has a chance to join us. So first of all, let us welcome you to our yearly business analysis and product management conference. So the reason why it's yearly one is the fact that we actually organized a conference last year and we did that in the more traditional offline mode. And this year, because of you know, the current situation that we are all familiar with, we are conducting, we are doing the conference online. And as long as we are going online, we said we, we thought, why not to do that a public one? Why not to do this as an external conference? And here we go. So uh, this conference is available to everyone. It's completely online, it's completely free, and we are welcoming you to joining us for the next four days. Hey guys. And in this period, actually, of quarantine, you still have a chance, you know, to grow as a business analyst, as a product manager, as a consultant. And we, with our team, actually did our best to provide you with the best speeches you can get during this time. So let me mention over here that actually you are the one who made this conference happening because we had the public call for speakers, we had the voting for the most interesting topics, and uh, the agenda was completely formed based on those voting results and based on the community opinion. So who are the people who are talking to you right at this moment? So it's myself, Irina Miranas, uh, senior product manager at TBAM, uh, working for quite a big number of years within the company and uh, right now I'm the one who is helping uh, to grow, to develop and extend product management practice at EPAM. And Roman? Yeah, and uh, me, Roman Saharov, I'm Senior Business Analysis Manager at EPAM, also co-heading the practice of global business analysis with Rina and actually yeah, also one of organizers of our today's conference. So guys, welcome. Thank you, Roman. So, so let's talk a little bit about the goals of our conference. So why we are here and what we would like to see happening during this conference in the next four days. So first of all, as I already mentioned, this is a completely online and global event. We have speakers from a number of countries. We have uh, almost 3,000 participants who registered to the event. You will hear more about these details later today. And because uh, EVAM is quite a big company and because we are, you know, this event is launched as a public one, we thought why not to share those best practices, those great ideas, uh, this practical experience uh, that our speakers uh, have to this point. And uh, of course, it's not easy uh, to build any kind of the strategies and plans in, uh, in the current situation, but still we would like to use this time to share the knowledge that we have to help you uh, to create plan, to create a strategy on your next, uh, next steps in your career, in your professional development, in your professional growth. And because um, as you can see that um, from the name of the conference, we cannot separate out only one discipline, only one competency. We decided that oh, this conference is actually going to be covering several of the different um, uh, competencies and those would be business analysis, product management and consulting. It doesn't mean that everything that we have at the conference is completely focused on only those three. You definitely will have some insights uh, into some soft skills and you will have uh, experience uh, shared by our speakers in making sure that you're a great uh, storyteller and so on. And a part of that, you have an access to every single person who is attending this conference. So every speaker and every participant can be, conduct, uh, can be contacted by you directly. And we will share with you how to do that later today as well. Yeah, guys, and um, 
talking about the numbers, basically this um, today's conference is of great popularity as we see because we really have a lot of uh, registrants actually having more than 2,900 registrants today during the conference. So welcome all of you here today. That's great. Hopefully we're going to reach even more than 3,000 during this couple of days. Uh, but still, let's talk about numbers. So again, we were able to gather and you voted for more than 20 speakers and professionals. So in different areas, as well as in speeches, also in different round tables, which will be interesting for you. Uh, we are going to have four days and uh, again, 12 speeches during that time, so which means three, sp three specific speeches per day, plus additionally events like round tables, link coffees, rain rings and other activities which uh, makes our conference even more interesting. Also, you will have additional activities to make you to communicate because you know why we love conferences, because they make our us to network and find new people, right? Find new experiences uh, during communicating. So we actually created different quizzes, quests, and 24 seven discussions available to you with speakers and with all of you together. So you can basically uh, yeah, talk and get new contacts and you know, cross pollinate your knowledge. Uh, yeah, and already mentioned activities and round tables, which you can actually uh, participate and which will make conference even more interesting. Thank you, Roma. And in addition to that, in addition to all these great insights, you're actually going to see sessions with not only experienced product managers and business analysts, but also we're going to have a couple of the round tables where we have management up to their VP level attending those and sharing their insights on the strategy, on the strengths of the market, on the current market situation, demand that they see uh, coming from the customers and so on. And uh, those roundtables basically should give you some good understanding about the current situation in the IT world uh, in connect to business analysis and product management overall. A part of that, I would like to know that all of the speakers who are conducting sessions during these four days are, it's not people who are serving as um, invited speaker who's conducting lots of uh, sessions on a regular basis. Most of our speakers come in with their practical experience, with hands-on experience, and will be sharing information about their real-life cases, about their cases and their experience that they actually uh, do get on a daily basis by hands-on involvement with their clients and customers. We actually have uh, speakers joining us from many different countries and for that reason our sessions are spread across the different time zones and in different um, time frame uh, uh, during the daytime and hopefully with that we will have many more participants joining from different countries and um, oh, uh, the same is true for our speakers because those, those are coming from a number of various countries and even various continents. Uh, as I already said, we actually would like to encourage to have the networking happening as much as possible during the conference and for that purpose we've created discussion groups, we've created uh, different chats that are dedicated to a particular topic. We would like to emulate or uh, create something similar that you would see on the conference uh, as a competency boosts. And uh, also, as I mentioned, you will be able to talk to every single expert who is joining the conference overall. All of that and all of the details how to make it happen uh, will be shared with you in a second uh, during this talk today. So let us talk a little bit about the agenda, Roma. Yeah, so regarding the agenda, guys, as already mentioned, like we are going to have four days, uh, three main speeches during each day and about two additional activities per each day. So for today, we're going to have a very interesting talk by our uh, colleague from uh, China who will tell us about the digital commerce practices uh, and APEC region, So, which, which is very interesting again if you are looking into additional markets. Also, we're going to talk about discoveries and we'll talk about the remote work because it's very actual. For uh, 
the next couple of days again also we'll gonna have uh, talks about how to work as a business analyst right and how to improve your skills like for example fighting passive aggression or how you should work with your kpis as a ba right how you can measure yourself so that's going to be tomorrow at two o'clock so also you're gonna if you need to dis do a discovery for a product that's the talk we're gonna have tomorrow uh, again on the day three which is Thursday, you're going to have like mistakes as a BA, uh, which is again a great story on how you can actually build your career in business analysis. And we're going to talk about uh, again anti patterns or what should need be never done uh, when you're acting as a driver for your client. Uh, also, we'll talk about lean product management. So we got from the experience from our speakers who actually had a chance to apply it in their real life work and they will share the ideas. So also, which is important and I guess we're interesting now, we're going to have the uh, round table for that today. We're going to have the data uh, driven product design session on Friday, which is again very interesting in terms of like where the world is moving now. We are all directed into data, so I also invite you today at five o'clock for the round table on data driven decisions, which is again uh, quite interesting and insightful in terms if you want to build your organization into da data driven direction. Uh, yeah, also on Friday we're going to have very interesting talk about how to build your career as a business analyst in terms of certifications, whether should you should like take them or not, or which of them should you select. And uh, yeah, finally we're going to be talking about how to actually grow from a business analyst to a business consultant. What steps should you take and how actually a consulting framework will differ from what you do as a business analyst. So. Briefly, that's our agenda for next couple of days. You can definitely check it on our site. You can check it from this presentation, but I really recommend you selecting the base spe speeches you are interested in and putting them into your agenda. And additionally, yeah, I would like to highlight that we're going to talk about today uh, more. There are events and roundtables which really might be interesting for you instead of speeches, for example, if you have a limited time. So, and today, as already mentioned, take part in it round table of data driven decision because this is something really which is on the edge of the technology and the, the of the edge of the, on the edge of the market. Uh, OK, guys, so that's briefly our agenda and now back to Irina. Yeah, so what we already mentioned several times and we cannot emphasize that enough uh, that one of the main scenes, one of the main goals for these uh, conference is not only to listen to those talks, the different round tables which are prepared for you guys, but also to stay engaged and have all these connections established, meet new people and have a chance to get deeper insights into their experience. So with that, uh, we do encourage you to be actively involved in every single session which, is, uh, which you're attending. And during those sessions, ask questions. It's actually uh, true for this session as well. So each of you who joined us today should have their Q&A chat available to you. And within this chat, you have the voting option uh, for the particular question or for the particular comment. We will be asking you to um, use this uh, chart on the regular basis for posting your questions, for do the voting, and uh, for all of the sessions, we're actually going to have a small contest for the best question and the most active participants will get some prizes. Um, so with that, we do encourage you to use chart as much as you can. Uh, so feel free to do that right now. Explore that yourself even during the session. And in case if you have any questions or any notes, any suggestions, recommendations for us later, you always can go to their general discussion group to the general chat which is created and available as a link from every single session and also from our mini page. Also, we do have a discussion group created for every single session from the agenda. So if you feel like there is an unanswered question or if you feel like the conversation wasn't ended during the session, uh, you definitely can go to that uh, discussion group and proceed with your uh, conversation over there. We also do promise to answer every single question that we will be posted 
to the chat here during the session or in those discussion groups. And with that, we are going to close and monitor everything that's um, posted uh, over there and make sure that every single question is going to be answered during this uh, during this conference. And the part of the regular sessions and um, a part of those conversations uh, as uh, Rome already mentioned, we're actually organizing quite a number of great activities and we are going to do uh, some overview on those activities uh, with you right now. So let us share some quick highlights uh, in what's going to be conducted uh, during the session and what we are preparing. Uh, so the first one would be our session with uh, our senior management, as we already mentioned earlier today, that's going to happen on a Wednesday in the format of roundtable. We're going to have um, several of our VPs uh, who is coming from uh, with product background, with uh, competency building background, with business analysis and consulting background, sharing their insights into the trends that they can see uh, on the market, um, sharing their insights, how they would see these competencies development uh, within the companies uh, and not only ours. Um, and also, uh, if there are any changes that are happening right now uh, during these days when we all are remote. So all of that will be discussed during this roundtable. It's Wednesday. Uh, join us and let's have a really great and productive conversation over there. Uh, so that's the activity that we do recommend. A part of the talk of the activities that we have prepared, Brain Ring. Uh, yeah, Dave, so. Roma. Yeah, so the next actual activity, we we really try to make the conference, you know, not just a regular conference when you, where you come and listen to different speeches, you know, and try to get some insights into how, um, let's say, your direction work. But we also really wanted to make it fun for everyone. And that's why we came up with some really interesting activities and we hope you enjoy them. So definitely register there. Uh, and first of them is brain ring. So during brain ring, you, I, I think you might know what is that. So it's kind of a quiz time game where you actually have a team assembled and then the person ask uh, who actually is um, hosting the event, he asks questions. And then your team have ability basically to spend a couple of minutes for discussing or try and answer right away. If you answer right, you actually score, score a point. If not, you're actually losing and your uh, the ability to answer comes to another team. So and basically the, uh, the team who scored the most, uh, that team wins. Uh, so you can uh, either assemble your own team you can join the existing team or you can be just a participant and listen how effective our teams and maybe test yourself whether you come up with answers faster than uh, than the teams who are participating. So that's quite a fun activity and I think you should really try it out. Uh, and of course, as always, uh, we have a separate chat for that event. And if, for example, after the event or during it, you want to additionally discuss whether the questions were, uh, I mean, hard enough or you would like to add on top of that, then feel free to communicate so you'll be able to chat the uh, teams and all participants in that communication chat. Uh, the other part, which we also like did our best to make uh, the conference interactive and available for you to uh, for networking is a lean coffee event. I think most of you have already tried uh, this type of event. Uh, if not, you can quickly Google how it works. But basically um, this is a community driven event like our conference is also community driven and uh, you can actually submit a topic and uh, by the way on the event page you can now find it and still submit some topics uh, then you have a chance to vote for a topic uh, in which you are interested in and in this way we are actually prioritizing those talks which are most interesting for the audience uh, then we are sorting them and we are having a discussion so of course we will have our professionals and basically people who can help you with answering those questions but if you have still have your vision and you as a professional want to jump in and to share your experience this is an event where you're able to do so 
So and our facilitators will help you also to share your experience and to have your voice during this type of event. So welcome to the Lean Coffee. Uh, yeah, and uh, again, emphasizing the importance of networking and the importance of experience of the real life conference, right? When we have a chance uh, during the coffee breaks to talk to other people, you know, when we are seeing the interesting question or an interesting experience from the person, we are able to continue talking to him. We have organized this um, uh, basically chat uh, room for everyone, which is uh, split as you see by days, right? So we have uh, chats or channels for each day, day one, day two, day three, day four, which are then split by speeches. So and within each day you will find uh, events where you can actually discuss that event specifically. So for example, you can start discussing our current speech, uh, which is keynote or conference opening uh, in the day one uh, right away, right? And if we are finishing, but you still have questions, you can ask them there. Um, and of course you have the general chat. If you have the general question or just want to chit chat randomly with someone on some question, you can start uh, different chats within this channel. Uh, so we are really welcoming you in using that because this will give you that additional experience, you know, of real life conference where you actually are having a chance to speak to everyone. You can start with a short introduction with you where you, for example, when you are writing to the general questions, but still don't be shy. Yeah, go and ask your questions or share your experience and that would make the most of conference for you. And back to Rina. Um. Yeah, thank you, Roma. So uh, some other insights into the activities prepared for the conference and for the next four days. Uh, we are going to have daily quiz um, that will be launched on, uh, as it's obvious, probably on daily basis. So if you would like to test your knowledge, if you would like to check uh, if you're a true expert and if you would like to do a bit of competition with our other participants, make sure that you'll find this link to the daily quiz on our main page and uh, on our activities page or in the daily email that you would receive um, every night uh, after the, all of the sessions are done for the day. While you are answering those questions, make sure that you provided your name and in that case, those points and the number of right answers will be counted towards you as the active participants. And uh, as it was already mentioned, we are going to have a, a bit of contest uh, over here for, uh, for the best participant or for the most active participant, as well as for the best speaker, by the way. Uh, so this daily digest, uh, sorry, daily quiz, this is a set of questions that's available for the entire day for 24 hours in the form of Google, uh, Google form. And uh, it actually has some pr uh, options with the answer. So we just need to pick the, the right one. Uh, you can find that everywhere in the event. And again, make sure that you take part in that. We will make sure that the results are going to be announced uh, at the end of the conference on Friday. Have fun, participate in that, and feel free to involve your colleagues uh, to these quiz as it's public and available to everyone, even not for event participants. Uh, Roma? Uh, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, my bad. So, yeah, so the next activity is solving a puzzle. So that's to be the challenge that we've prepared uh, for the entire event. And to get some insights into that, let me pass the word to Yulia. Yulia? Thank you, Irene. Um, yeah, we have prepared a puzzle for you to make your uh, conference experience even a bit more exciting. And uh, the rules are quite simple. You need to solve a puzzle. Um, what you should do, you should attend as many talks as you can. And every talk will have a special secret word announced by the speaker. You need to collect those words and eventually construct a secret phrase uh, using these words. The structure of the secret phrase will be on the next slide. Rom Roman, please. Yes. Here it is. So um, the order of the words in this secret sentence is the same as the order of the conference talks. Um, and uh, if you have found, 
you've got the secret word at the very beginning of the conference, you may, you may be sure that this word should be placed somewhere at the beginning of this puzzle phrase. When you collected all the pieces of the puzzle and constructed the sentence, you are welcome to post your uh, answer using a special Google form. The link on this form and the slides that uh, with instructions and the structure of the uh, secret phrase, um, I'll put uh, the link in the chat. They, well, they are available on a special page dedicated to the talk puzzle results announcement. Again, I'll put the link in the chat and also we'll share the uh, these slides with the structure of the secret phrase with you. On Friday, uh, May uh, 29 at uh, 3.30 p.m. Uh, by Minsk time, we are going to announce the results and the winner will receive a, a prize. So we encourage you to participate. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Julia. And just adding on top of that, guys, you can find the link to the form on the event page. Basically, uh, just look for the additional events or act additional activities uh, part. And when uh, checking the solve a puzzle, you'll have that link to a form. So either check in chat or check our daily email or check there on the page. So yeah, and that's going to be fun. And just remember that prizes will be for most active participants. Yeah, and back to Irina. Yeah, and for the one who will do this puzzle in first, right? Uh, remember that you need to attend pretty much every session to collect all of these word, oh, words uh, to put the phrase together. So uh, we talked about all these activities for our participants and said that, yeah, there are going to be some, pr some prizes for the most active participant. There are going to be uh, some prizes for um, the person who would do the puzzle first and so on. But what about speakers? Actually, for speakers, we do have a separate competition uh, as well. And you are the one who are defining the best speaker over here. For that, we are asking you to vote for the talk which you attended. It's uh, really five seconds scene because the only thing that you need to do is to give the star rating to the particular talk that you attended. Uh, the star rating can go anywhere from zero to five, uh, obviously with five to be the highest one. Uh, so when you're attending the session, please make sure that you are coming back to their um, session page, to the talk page, and just put this voting in place. That would mean really a lot to speakers and we'll make sure that our best speaker gets uh, the right price and basically the right recognition for the best talk conducted. Okay, let's move forward and uh, talk uh, a little bit more in details what uh, the, the, most e uh, the most influencing activities for our active participants, Roma. Yep, so basically for uh, the most active participants, guys, again, as uh, you know, we need to be encouraged to do the good for our own. And as we already mentioned, you know, to get uh, the most of any conference, you should participate, you know, you should make it live, you need to network. So for most, we're going to have prizes for most active participants. So we have uh, them announced on Friday. Uh, however, just to give you a tip, that's not everything that will be counted against to being most active participant. But again, this is how you answer, uh, ask questions during the sessions, whether you participate in quizzes, quests, and activities like round tables and stuff, whether you have a chance basically to be there. Of course, also we will count like whether you are active in a channel, right? Whether you are chatting or just uh, asking the questions or trying to discuss something out of the speeches. So. We will be also counting all that and uh, on Friday we'll come up with uh, several uh, uh, winners who will receive prizes for being the most active participants. I mean, on top of uh, speakers who will also obviously get prizes for the best talk. Um, and uh, just again, starting to move into direction of more technical moments because I'm seeing already questions in our chat where people are starting to ask whether we're going to have the recordings, whether we're going to have, uh, uh, you know, session details and session materials shared. So uh, let me share that every day you're going to receive the daily summer email. So if you haven't chance to uh, basically participate in all speeches and you haven't seen basically what you wanted to see, uh, at the end of the, each day you'll receive a summary with the links to sessions which were conducted during this day, 
uh, with the recordings to those sessions. So, and again, that's an ideal case because you know that the video production takes time some time. We are planning to basically put those uh, videos, but some of them might take delays. So just get back maybe the next day if, if the link doesn't work right away for you. And of course, you're gonna link, gonna get a link to daily quiz. And as already mentioned by Rena, right? So you can basically pass it. You will send the results to us, but. Uh, uh, also, you can also check yourself uh, by checking your answers, whether you were able to uh, answer them right. So that's gonna get gonna have in, uh, in the daily summary email. And for technical moments, Irina. Uh, so a couple of the notes about the technical aspects and the org moments for all of our sessions. As uh, you already might know, uh, or if you're looking at this um, using the recording, then you probably wouldn't know. We are using Microsoft Teams live events for conducting most of our sessions. A couple of our activities like Brain Ring and Lean Coffee are going to be done using Zoom, Zoom application. So if you're going to be an expert who will be joining those uh, and who is going to take the active part in the Brain Ring uh, as a part of the team or in the Lean Coffee as an expert, make sure that you have Zoom uh, plugin pre-installed uh, on your computer. Also, if you would like just to listen to those sessions, uh, we absolutely will be making sure that those are being broadcasted, but it's going to be done via YouTube. So uh, there are only two uh, exclusions, but for, for the rest of the sessions, you are going to see pretty much the same interface and it's going to be Microsoft Teams. All of the videos from all of the sessions are going to be recorded and all the materials together with the presentations will be shared after the conference. So all of the materials are going to be distributed to all the participants and can be reused later on as needed. And uh, we already mentioned many times today uh, that we uh, have these chats and discussion groups created separately. Those not tied to this particular conference and the conversation in those can continue for unlimited time. So these chats uh, will stay alive for a long time and you will have your chance to find the experts to connect with um, uh, experts and so on. And of course, uh, as I already mentioned today, we would like to make sure that you're just not asking uh, those questions and no one is answering those. So we would guarantee that everything that's uh, being posted during the conference to those chats or to the chats during the event, uh, is going to find the answer and this answer is going to be published. Uh, we're going to use those discussion groups uh, as the primary channel for answering all of the questions that were posted during the session and for which we didn't have time during 60 minutes uh, to, find, to find the answer for. It's going to be the same experts, it's going to be the same person, the same speaker who will be answering your questions. So uh, make sure that you, you are following those uh, conversations and um, stay uh, on top of all the information that's being shared over there. Okay, so uh, we know that we all are quite busy and we know that we have other sessions and work happening in parallel and four days event obviously is not um, a small uh, dedication of time to this particular conference and of course our interests uh, are different. So with that many people were asking how I would make sure that my session, the session that I would like to attend will be saved to my calendar. So for that you can go to the agenda page on uh, the conference website and just hit the small green icon that appears uh, in the top right corner or for every agenda item that would automatically save that to your calendar and what's even more important it will automatically send a, a placeholder to your calendar that's adjusted to your time zone and so that has the link to the right talk and that would have a link to the connection uh, that provides a possibility to connect to the session. So uh, feel free to scan the agenda. Make sure that you're marking down those uh, sessions that you really would like to attend and make sure that those are saved in your calendar so you're not missing the most important ones. 
Nevertheless, still, all of these sessions are going to be recorded and the recordings will be shared afterwards. And now let's take a look at some insights and our uh, agenda for the first day, which is today. Roma? Yeah, guys, and as already mentioned, uh, we're going to have again this first day and quite interesting talks which we're having today. As already mentioned, um, some people actually are some of my friends are asking me, you know, what uh, particular events would you recommend to, to attend? So and basically the next um, uh, talk which is coming right after our keynote current uh, is the digital commerce practices in China and I really recommend you to participate in that um, in that speech because it's really interesting and it's really eye opening if you haven't had a chance you know to get insight into how digital commerce works in China. So that's a pretty interesting ecosystem. So if you have uh, again interest in that definitely join that session. Uh, then we are be talking about the discovery preparation, which is also an important activity for every business analyst. Uh, basically, maybe even not a business analyst, but a delivery manager, a project manager who needs to kickstart the project. So we're going to be talking about the framework on how to properly do a discovery. Uh, then we'll we we'll also have another keynote for people uh, in other time zones because we definitely have people in the Western Europe, in the uh, Northern America. Uh, so basically for them, we're going to have an additional keynote. Also, we're going to talk about the secrets of a great product roadmap, uh, which is again an essential tool for a product manager, right? That's why uh, this is a talk which we're going to have in today. And I'm sure it will be interesting for you as well. Uh, we're going to have the round table, the first round table on data driven decisions. So I already mentioned about that, that again, if you are moving your product or your company to be again more um, competitive on the market, this is uh, some kind of an approach you'll need to uh, define and actually take. So uh, basically data driven decision, we are going to have a great experts who are doing uh, data design basically data analysis for like years and years and you'll definitely get some interesting insights out of that round table and finally for today we're gonna have a, also a quite an actual talk for everyone and basically one of the reasons why we are now talking online right as our remote work right and how we should stay focused and uh, effective during this remote work times so that's Again, more kind of workshop slash speech for you, which you can participate and get into some insights into how that, that uh, should be organized. So that's it for today. Again, I think you can check the rest of the days on yourself. And as mentioned by Irina, you can add uh, your, uh, again, interesting speeches for you to your agenda. But yeah, but basically for the first day, at least you already have some insight. Uh, so yeah, other than that, uh, we would like really to thank you and welcome you at the beginning of our conference. We would like to wish you a great time, an interesting time, a lot of interesting insights and even a lot of interesting uh, friends and colleagues you meet here. And uh, of course, if you have any questions or issues, you can contact our organizer team in the general questions chat or if you are feeling that you're actually willing to talk to us individually, uh, you can actually find us even in the uh, LinkedIn or Facebook or in, you know, in whatever convenient way you want. Or just hit their send the message button next to the person profile. So as we said, for most of our speakers and participants, you have a chance to connect directly via their uh, platform, uh, community Z platform. So for that, just hit uh, the icon, th their picture of the particular person and see the send the message button there. You uh, definitely can contact anyone uh, from the entire platform using it. And as we already said, we are encourage you to stay involved, to stay engaged, and you can ask any questions that you would like um, in the Q&A chat. Uh, we actually were trying to follow those questions which are asked over there and um, um, answer it most of them, but if you have any more questions to us right at this moment, then uh, please feel free to post them there and we'll be, make sure that those will be uh, answered. 
Um, apart from that, when, what was already posted in the chat, there was a request to see the links to those discussions and to the to the conversations that we have. So this link can be found in the chat area. You can see that. And also you can see the more detailed description about the puzzle that was posted by Yuda to chat. So it's there as well. And Yes, because many questions are being asked about that, all of our sessions, including roundtables, are going to be recorded and uh, these videos are going to be shared after the conference. Uh, so we do expect every single session uh, being available afterwards via the recording. Hey guys. Uh, and we still have some time for a question. Uh, so if you have still questions, we see some of them were already answered because you were asking about whether we have video recordings posted, whether we are going to have video recordings for the live sessions and roundtables. And the answer is yes. So you're going to have a possibility to view them later if, if again, uh, because we know it's you know working time for all of us. So and uh, of course, there are also some questions on the agenda. I hope you can find it on the uh, community page. Just uh, on the top, you can click uh, agenda near the home and activities buttons. So you can check it, but you'll need to select the specific day you're interested in. Cool. So. So with that, we're probably going to close out this session for today. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for being with us and hope to see you in 15 minutes at our next session, uh, which is going to provide some really, really great insights into their um, Asia and China markets. We have the really great speaker over there. So hope to see you there. Thank you so much and talk See you uh, later today. Have a great day. Thank you guys. Have a great conference. See you then. Bye.